Gemini. Gemini. I am Kendrick. And I am Dale. This is your June 2018, I don't know why I said 2013 in my head, reading for June. June 2018, your season, your time. Pardon me, guys, I haven't been feeling so great Kendra. over the past couple days. He's a human. So, you know. We I go might, things. I know. Right, we go through things, so I might seem a little We're not invincible, huh? To you, but. Yeah. His energies. It's okay. It's we're here right. for you. We're here. Luckily, we're not running laps or anything. You guys are here for me. Yeah, and we're listening to Spirit to see uh, what advice we have or what advice they have to give you. guys, one more shuffle experience and then we'll get to your reading. Gemini, what's been going on? So, Gemini, you are air, you are mutable, you are quick-witted, you hate to be bored, you love spontaneity, you are prophetic with your message, usually something that you just feel like very passionate about. Right. Um, you can be very pan-like sometimes, just kind of stirring things up or having little experiments here or there just to kind of see how people work and see how things you know will play themselves out um you can be emotionally blocked at times because of this need to analyze things and sometimes some type of situation uh, regarding childhood that has you fearing the depth of emotion in this way um but you want to connect and you want to be understood more than anything really um i have gemini rising so i know my ascendant is in gemini 18 degrees so i get it um yeah, it's about basically this analysis of uh, how people work, right? Mm -hmm. And um, this hunger to somehow connect. Um, and the lessons that you've learned from Aries and from Taurus, right? Because you're the first heir. So um, in Aries, we really learn um, how to be ourselves, how to attract uh, attention and how to go after projects that we set in our mind. Um, we're very much about discovering and being the first to discover um, and really initiating things. Um, then Taurus season, that's the bottom of the deck. You, it's pentacles. about what you have. And then we get into Gemini. Air, right? Okay. We're doing the Ascendant Spread. You got another Ace, Gemini. Ace of Swords. Okay. What's going on? Mm. New initiations. I was just talking about Aries. Mm -hmm. And what you've learned from Aries with your son being there. So you're communicating a lot. You know, there's some truths that are going to be revealed or have been revealed. Mm -hmm. Also, you are imagining things. And, you know, your perception. It's like your idea of things are very, like, on fire. Uh, you could definitely be having a change of focus with something um, soon, during this month, somehow. Um, either you're putting initiative and really making some type of change or the perceptions of either the way that you see something or the, maybe the way someone else sees you. Um, this Ace of Swords is kind of like saying you really want to just slice into this kind of... Um, whatever might have been going on mentally and initiate some type of new mental or, or, or there may be something that happens that initiates new mental thoughts like you guys bottom of the deck could get be in a new relationship which will cause a new focus for you or a new job um which will cause a new focus for you something happens that um is an actual physical physical thing, thing. right and then that is going to basically cause a change of focus for you Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into what your sun is. Okay. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra. No surprise that we are getting swords coming out. You are Gemini. There, there, there. These swords are good swords, though. For the most part, right. these are new initiations. Obviously, something new is starting. You very much are weighing out intimacy right now. Um, it's Moon and Libra, so your emotions uh, towards a relationship, 
definitely probably a relationship. I mean, it could be a relationship with work as well, this Ace of Pentacles being at the bottom. But more than likely, it's a person because you are Gemini. So you're always thinking about people and connecting. And you very much are thirsty or hungry to connect with someone. Or you're just weighing out what it means to do that. You know, what it means to, um, to connect with someone. You know, um, you've kind of had this kind of something going on inward night, right, within you. Um, and you're going in, because this is a personal thing. It's a, it's a personal decision. There seems like there may be some type of decision that you'll be making that will ch cause a change of focus. Um, and so I think it's in relationship to uh, uh, an intimacy with someone. Uh, there is yellow at the bottom. You see your shoes are yellow there. Yellow's about friendship. You know, this could be a lover and you just want, you know, the, the footing there, talking about your experiences that you've had together um, and you, you wanting to keep this kind of mercurial kind of uh, um, connection. You know, this is definitely a call for, once again, like I said, a need for intimacy, yeah? I feel like some of you are having to choose between something that you have and something that you possibly could have, right? It's like you're thinking of what could be, what the possibilities are with the Ace of Swords here, but then it's like you know what you already have and what's come of it, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. The physical thing and the choice you're making, okay. Mm -hmm. The choice you're making has to do with the Two of Swords. Decisions and it's emotional, yeah? The moon is there. So there's some intuitive nature there as well. Yeah, she he just put the deck down and um, the Empress revealed herself. So this is definitely um, about self-expression as well. Um, there's definitely, I mean, with the Ace of Pentacles being there too, like you guys are just, you're starting something new. And I, it probably is a new relationship of some sort or a new version of the relationship you already have. Um, I see that here too. Maybe you already know this person. It's not necessarily saying you're going to meet someone new um, because the Ace of Wands hasn't necessarily appeared yet, but we'll see what happens. Um, but there could just be like a new version of what is already established and you very much have wanted this. Um, there's kind of maybe a little bit of restlessness somehow and you're, you're ready to... Um, move forward or there's a person and they're ready and um, you know you could be somehow um, intimidated by these ideas but you're thinking about it you know at the same time you know Gemini you're not the first to commit necessarily so but this is kind of like this could definitely be um, talking about a relationship and an actual relationship and you really thinking seriously about um, what that means to you and what this person like means to you. Right. Mm -hmm. There's some fruitfulness that's going to come of this, you mm -hmm. know, whatever it is that you attain uh, or create. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's something to be looked forward to as far as what's going to come after it, right? Because it's like, it's so, um, the possibilities are so broadened mm -hmm. that whatever it is, as long as you exercise the energy well, you'll be able to manifest it. There could definitely be some duplicity there with this card as well, being in the sun here. It's like mentally you could be dating two people, right? You are Gemini. So it could be like this person does this, but this person does that, you know? This this is this, and then this is that. You might have a change of focus with who you're dating. Um, that's definitely possible, you know, with this card here. Or you just come to a different decision. You come to a decision of some sort with the, with the, the intimacy, intimacy level. Right. Let's look at your moon. Yeah. Okay. In okay. your moon, you have Saturn and Taurus. So mm. this is okay. This is, is, could be definitely a relationship you've been in. Right. Some of you are really seeing what's what you have and what you're thinking about what it could possibly be or how you can become more abundant in like your approach to nurturing what you already have. Right. And that's in like that's from a place of of depth right from inside of you you can feel it yeah right you want to bring more to a situation you just don't know how excuse me guys and you don't know um why the challenge is occurring 
it is a karmic lesson for you. So there is something that's that hasn't really shown itself to you yet mm -hmm. that's going to allow you to see why, what, where, when, and how after it, this having a pentacle. It's in your moon. This is how you're feeling. Um, this is Saturn and Taurus. So this is some... Oh, this could be really deep, actually, because it's in your moon. So Saturn being there is talking about karma and time and, and enforcement and very slowly, slowly moving. Um, and Taurus is also very slowly moving, slowly building. So this is something that is affecting your emotions that you have been dealing with, no doubt, for a while. Um, you may actually be thinking about the de destruction of it, in a sense, or you might fantasize about the destruction of it, so that something new will come out of that. Um, there's a fear of change. There, there's, yeah, there's like, this is something that might even be, like, it's definitely been there for, I mean, Saturn and the moon. Um, Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn, and this is the moon placement, which is your emotions, which is opposing that. Right. So there's like a lot, there might be a weightedness to the idea of um, something to do with time and, you know, ringing in these emotions or how long it's going to take for something to change. There's something to do with change, maybe, and you're like, really, there's a little bit of anxiety over that. I feel like some of you guys are trying to keep your cool, mm -hmm. but really what you want is something to occur, something to change, something to form, something to move forward, yeah? But you're keeping your cool. Yeah, because there could be conflict. I'm saying there could definitely be conflictions at work, you know, because seven a lot of the times is conflict uh, with an advantage, but a lot of times be like conflict, conflict with your peers a lot um, or with your lover in some type of way. Um, and this is a pentacle. So it's like a full out proof of something. So it could be, you could be dealing with work or something very physical that's um, affecting you. It could be a relationship, mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, the seventh house being like love and relationships as well. If you think about that, it's kind of like, okay, um, you could definitely be wondering also in a relationship how long it's gonna take to see something really flourish. Maybe you've known something or you've felt something for a very long time and it's very mature. Uh, maybe there's a lot of restrictions around it somehow. You have always wanted this thing and you can't have this thing for some reason. You don't know why. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I'm getting something like that from it um, as well. That's for somebody out there. Um, some of you might be a little bit impatient about like a feeling that you've been having right it's like you're like oh why don't I keep having to feel this way about this thing but it's something that is in your life it's mm -hmm. physically there it's cloaked in your emotions and in your passions it's like it's like around your your moon and your mars energy like right this physical um so it's like a hunger um and like an emotion as well emotion that's um, it's emotional and it makes you want to do things right and you're wondering how long um before you can get the thing that it is that whatever it is that you have your eye on that you've been waiting to see grow right mm -hmm. okay okay now this card has been prevalent for you i think with this came up for you last month as well six of cups now it's in the past which was last month um but uh it's talking about you wanting to share your emotions. Also, maybe you established some emotions with someone um, or like uh, someone came back. Uh, this is very like sibling or like old friend that you've known from the youth even, or there's just a familiarity that's there. And with the red over the head, you can see that those are actions of thoughts that you want to share these emotions with this younger, more innocent, um, you know, there's a sharing of emotions here and a sharing of beauty. Right. Um, and love, too. And love. Yeah. And it's, um, yeah, it could be a deep, it could be just deep. It's Scorpio. It's sun in Scorpio. So it could be even just an accumulation of, of feelings f for a cause, uh, whatever that cause is with a person, definitely, or an establishment. It's a six. So it's in correlation with the lovers somehow. Um and it could be communications of emotions, or there's a Scorpio in your life 
um, and the Scorpio just is very close to you. Maybe there's a Scorpio moon or a rising and they, they really affect you. Um, you could even, even be starting a relationship with them or just started a relationship with them. Or it could be somebody that you've known for quite some time because I'm getting a lot of that energy, Gemini. And you can be very um, experimental and fun and flighty and in the moment. But when it comes to love and truly loving someone, um, it's few and far in between, actually, for you in, a, in that way a lot of the times. It's like either surface or deep. It's no real in between with the twins in that way. It can be very fickle. So it's like you associate, if you've gotten into a Gemini, and usually that's got to be a little bit earlier with them, even though they're open to connecting, um, unless they have like maybe a water moon or something like that, um, it's just going to be more of a mental thing. And the people that they know from their past are really who they associate with. And so you might be thinking about someone from the past that you want to share some emotions with. Um, someone with maybe a heavy water, watery kind of, maybe you just created a lot of memories with this person. And this could be very well the person that you want to feel intimate with right now. You're thinking about how you can cultivate long lasting relationships with people that are actually going to be meaningful, right? Because the Six of Cups is not really a card of uh, any kind of pain. In reverse, it could be. But mm -hmm. in Six reverse, of, it could be scorn and bitterness. Yeah, Six of Cups upright, that's the real Family love. secrets, though. It is Sun and Scorpio. So it's, you know, and this is general for a lot of people. So Scorpio energy, depending on where it is for you natally and for your relationships, right? Because we are all this universe. It's very, you know, particular. Um... It, it could be, it's definitely just saying because it's in Scorpio that these emotions are deep, period. Um, they are deep emotions. Very deep. Um, and that's for every Gemini right now. Whether you're facing that or not, you are thinking about connecting. We are going into your birthday season. You start thinking about relationships, thinking about yourself, you know, and you just want to be out and have fun anyway. I hate to be bored. So it could be coming from just a light place, but that light place actually underneath it, like I said earlier, could be very deep. Right. Let's look at your present, Gemini. Temperance. This is a card of mixing things, seeking some spiritual guidance, counsel, advice through spirit, mm -hmm. because you're allowing yourself, you're opening yourself up to new possibilities of receiving, right? You're not doing it the same way. Why, why can't I? Why won't he? Why can't we? That type of thing. You're just kind of like letting yourself begin to understand things. And you're not forcing it. You're letting it happen naturally. It's organic. You really want to, one, achieve your goals. Maybe there's something or there could be someone. I'm seeing here definitely there is, a, there is someone for a lot of people. Um, and it could be a really like a lover type of thing. Maybe you were lovers and you're just friends now or you're friends and it's love or it's, there's a very, it's a very mature, fiery energy. It could be sexual or non-sexual. It could just be really full of passion and, and like really, just really um, purposeful with temperance being there. And there could have been something to do with time. Maybe you felt away from that person somehow and you're wondering how much time it's going to take to get back to getting the earthly pleasures of being around that person and having Taurus uh, and Saturn there. It's like these restrictions of not being able to have this person in your life have affected you so emotionally, actually. Um, and that's where this hunger is coming from. And this real need, you really are trying to express something. Um, with temperance being there, it opposes you as well. That's Sagittarius. So there's been a lot of opposition. Maybe this person is away somehow, or they're always working, or you know, you met in a passionate way, um, you know, and you've got one foot on what's practical and one foot on what's affecting you emotionally, right? So think about that, the duality of that. It's like the foot that's bare is in the dirt and the toes are in the dirt or, you know, it's the grunt, grunge of that. And then the other foot is in this cool water, refreshing, icy, you know? And it's like this duality of, um, you could be even thinking this way right. um, because you are Gemini, right? So you are so quick with it. And right. that scares a lot of people. A lot of people are not 
as quick with things and don't have these epiphanies that you do and change focus as fast as you do. Um, but this is something that you have not been able to change your focus from. This is something that has been in your life for someone um, and they affect you um, and you are thinking about them. And I'm getting a lot of that right now, very strongly. And maybe creating a new situation somehow. Because the Ace of Pentacles is like, like the new proof that something new is something is different. Like something earthly is different. Right. Right. I feel like you guys are letting yourself see that one thing provides something for the other. And the other thing provides something for the one thing. They kind of need them both to be actively there together to give and receive at the same time. Yes. And it is in a realm of, you know, emotional process. How can you get down to what really is going to assist you? Yes. Let's look at your future. Two of Cups, Venus wow. and Cancer. Okay, for a Gemini... This is good. <laughs> this is good, Gemini. This is good, Gemini. Okay. So, it's saying that all of this work that you're doing is going to pay off as far as, like, trying to be closer to this person. That's just literally it right there. That is the proof that whatever it is, um, it is possible. You are. It is possible for you to reach this person. It is possible for you to um, attain these physical... Uh, desires that you've been waiting for in Saturn and Taurus. Um, Venus in Cancer, Venus is in Cancer, just went into Cancer um, like on Monday, uh, the 20th of May. We are now in Gemini. It's the 23rd. Uh, sun in Gemini now. Um, and Venus is in Cancer. Venus is in Cancer. That's your future, right? And so she's going to be there for a while, maybe like three weeks or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's going, it's like, this is that change of focus. It is going to pay off. Um, and you are going to get closer um, in a relationship if you want to. Um, there may be an, even an evolution of a relationship, like I said. There's something that you've been having for a while. And maybe the pentacle is that you, you, you affirm that relationship in a way that is like, um, ceremonial even or it could be uh, just the proof that everybody knows now finally that you know we're we're dating we're calling it we're calling it what we are um, uh, or there could be just a new for some of you and who are just single and this isn't you know on another aspect flip it to knowing that you have to make a decision mentally maybe you've been working at school towards something for a long time it's always been in your childhood this thing to do and now you're on your path and you're working hard at this goal that you're good at and you're learning you're going to learn something new about yourself you're going to create something new about yourself it may even help you with beautifying your home somehow um, that's another aspect and for a different twin out there um, who's single. Okay, let's look at your immediate influence. Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Really using the process of things to make something happen for yourself. Being the best witch in the deck doesn't mean that you're always doing spells, but it's always, it, it means that you're always determining something through skill. This is double Sagittarius energy, like wow. Right, you got the Queen of Wands, and then you've got, um, temperance there so this is also talking about higher learning so gemini i hope that you are trying to look towards that i'm um, putting more energy into the higher learning of things um and long-term goals and the passion behind the benefits of of holding out with things the benefits of you know really staying on a path and not just because you know you can get really scattered you analyze things so much um you know, sometimes just having the endurance to just stay on that path will really, really pay off for you, especially with business stuff, because the Queen of Wands is here. You could emotionally be feeling, this is like water with fire, you know, because the Queens are water, so that's like an intuition or a need for self-expression, and the Empress is here, right? And then there's the Wand there. The wand is about spirit and it's a mature spirit. So some of you are not really expressing some of your sexual desires or you really just, yeah, you, you know, there might be a mate, somebody that you've had your eye on for a long time, maybe since your childhood or something. Um, and th that could be somehow, you know, 
you know, especially if you are like Gemini moon, you know, uh, that could definitely be something that you're thinking of. Maybe it was a relationship that you have had for a while. Um, and then, you know, um, somehow it's not, you know, you want to bring the love back in in a new way or you just want to affirm it um, with this Venus and Cancer being there in the future. Very positive for a Gemini especially to have this card. I'll show it mm -hmm. to you guys again. Andrew? Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. So these are the two cups that the angel, angelic character in the te in the temperance card was mixing and putting together and taking apart. You know what I mean? So it's like now they're sharing that, which is what I was saying. You know, you're able to share something with someone who's able to share something with you, right? This. Mm -hmm. I also feel like some of you may feel you've been karmically separated from someone, mm -hmm. and they you. And there's someone else involved that you're not karmically separated from, but you're watching from a distance mm -hmm. for whoever that means. This could be, yeah, because these could, these are actually the two people, right? This could be even if you think about it, this is like, you guys have known each other for so long because your emotions are there with Saturn and Taurus as well. So you guys could have known each other even from grade school um, or just like really like even a family member or just an old you know, for some of you who are single, this could be like someone that you've date known from the past and, you know, you are now grown-ups, right? And you mm -hmm. want to establish a new kind of relationship, especially with temperance being there. Because temperance Sagittarius is all about long-term goals in this sense. So you guys maybe still be feeling spirited. Maybe you were separated from each other and you still feel very spirited um, towards each other. Um and the Queen of Wands is like, how are you going to emotionally, uh, that's the challenge. How are you going to emotionally um, get this spirit, get expressed? Because this is about expression. And there's a lot of expression needed here with the Empress being there. And this is the fiery of the Queen. So she really needs to tell you, Abercadabble, she really wants to manifest. Maybe you guys are really trying to manifest something with this major arcana temperance being there. Let's look at the anxieties. Okay, three of wands. That's speaking to the empress that showed herself. Mm -hmm. What is this, sun and Aries? Sun and Aries. There's a direct correlation between the queens and the threes and the empress, right? Because the empress is three, right? And then the there you go. You have your threes right there. And then the ruler empress of the queens... Right, so there's a direct correlation to everything that's going on right here. Okay, wow. There's a lot of spirit and passion here, and some of you have anxieties. This is Sun and Aries. So some of you have are having anxieties that the lover won't come back. Right. Right, you that, look, or you won't be able to connect with them in the way that you, you used to. Right, you're hoping for them to return to you in some kind of way. Mm -hmm. Whoever, it may be in the Healing form of even. another person mm -hmm. or something, you know? It's like you really have to give yourself you need to rest. Um, I know that you might always feel like you're interested in knowing what's going to happen, right? Actively. But it's saying that you need to just sort of like relax and being so eager to find out. Yeah, you will find out. Um, you know, Sun and Aries is eager. You are ready to go at the moment. You're ready to go. And if it's not working out for you in the moment that you're ready to go, then you're like, oh, what am I, why am I doing this? You're doing it because you need to practice your patience. Temperance card came up in your, you know, present. The three of wands, it's speaking to what's going to come of this process after you're done waiting to see what's coming in. You'll find it. It'll get to you. Yeah, this is definitely, um, also talking about like things like as far as this is concerned it's really talking about a scope right and like really the possibility of more um and so some of you um may be having anxieties um over if there is going to be another level to your relationship with uh this person or even with maybe just some type of long-term goal 
Um, there could be some type of long-term goal. Um, but with the future being with the Two of Cups there, yeah, it could be in relationship with yourself even. You could be like reinventing yourself in some way and having anxieties uh, over it, you know, feeling spirited about it. Um, it could be a project, right? There could be some type of project because it's Aries, um, you know, that is causing a lot of angst. Maybe it has to do with work, right? In the conflict at work because your emotions are there with the seven of pentacles. Or, or for some of you, it is the lover. And if they're gonna come back and you know, you're really just really worried if they're gonna come back. And it looks like the chance for you to really connect in a deeper way is possible in the future. Cause you know, even as a Gemini, that that doesn't happen often. And here we go with the chariot. The chariot is there. And it's in your Mars, and that's already a very kind of aggressive card. <laughs> it's talking about destruction, too. Um, it is talking about ringing in emotions. It's cancer uh, and evolution. Um, but it's also talking about, like, intimidation factors, right? Mm -hmm. It's talking about things that uh, are also related to time sometimes. Um, things may be more, there may be a challenge and it's got to do with time and it's just not working out in the amount of time that you want it to or you need to put more aggression into how fast you need the results from this matter. Um, right. the, this is in your mind, so like your will is just sort of like channel it. Mm -hmm. You're really trying to channel that energy and you know, Universe and Spirit is on your side in that, but then there's also a part of the lesson that you just have to like really allow yourself not to get from point A to point Q. You are definitely, yeah. And you wanna be, you wanna put hunger into like your family somehow, maybe even how they see you, right? You wanna, you wanna be, in, some of you wanna be intimidating somehow or emotionally just be viewed as someone who does a lot somehow or has a lot of status even. Um, you wanna put more into that somehow. Uh, you could be thinking about that. You could be thinking about family. You could be, um, yeah, there could be like a lot of, or maybe you guys are just doing a lot right now. You know, you could be just doing, you're getting ready to do a lot in relationship even to your home, or this could be in relationship to travel too. You wanna to put more plans into that, you know, into um, breaking down maybe even walls, right? Because this I'm thinking of in correlation with what's going on here in your moon, you know? Okay. Okay. In your advice. Wow. You got the okay. tower. Mars. Okay. Destruction. I was just talking about destruction. You want to destroy your stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, the advice is saying let this thing happen. Happen. Mm. It needs to happen, you know. And there is an ideal. Well, you've got the change of focus at, as you're rising. And now that the tower has revealed itself as the advice, it's really like you're ch it's changing. There's a destruction. With the seven being there, the sevens as well, there's a lot of just tearing down things. You were this and now you're this. You were that and now it's this. And it's made, there's a the mature energy here. Um, so you could have been really feeling a certain way for a long time and that's about to change. It could be even in relationship to childhood, the way you view yourself, the way you view someone in your childhood, the way they view you. Um, Absolutely. All of that is changing forever. It's like a major arcana card. Um, yeah, it's very spirited. Um, it's very, yeah. And it's like, you know, even you, you guys may be the ones doing it, you know, and maybe you might be the ones that are actually making the change happen. Um, or something happens and you know it's going to happen from an outside force, maybe in relationship to your family, and you are just, the advice is to let it happen. Right. Right. And if they end up somehow making you think things differently, then let that happen. Um, right. Because karmically, you're worried that your relationship might change with them anyway. And um, it's saying with that ace of swords there at the top, 
that to let that happen because when you let that happen you're either going to allow something new to come in or you're going to connect something deeper with yourself here venus and cancer this is an evolution of love an evolution of a relationship cancer is all is the crab that's in the water that can come out onto the land it has the shell you've been very protective emotionally Maybe now you finally found that person and you're literally affirming those things and presenting those things. Or you're single and you are in something long term, you let that thing go, it was passionate, but it was blocking you from other things in your life. Now you've gotten to a deeper version of yourself, Venus and Cancer, right? And you're understanding the spiritual past in yourself. Or this is just straight up a new relationship right around the corner. Some of you are gonna literally meet people this month around your birthday time when you're hot 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 and you're ready to really be open because you're kind of thinking a little bit deeper during this time of your birthday season anyway um with venus and cancer being there it's going to make you go in in that way especially if you're single you're definitely going to be like well why am i single though or if you're in a relationship you're going to be like well what are the real feelings here um you know because some of you, um, yeah, there's a lot of sex going on, but there's the, it could be blocking you, too. I don't know. This your is a lot of... Your outcome card, the fool. Positive. The fool is saying that really God is in it, <laughs> okay? And that it's kind of like supposed to be this way. So this is very positive, especially for people After who are coupled. Tower, right? Yeah, for people who are coupled, um, for people who are worried uh, about the longevity of the maturity of the relationship, um, the destruction, whatever the destruction is, um, is supposed to be, you know, um, be it good or bad. For some of you, it's like you're getting closer to your relationship and it was a spirited evolution and you put energy into that for some of you something happened there was a disruption maybe somebody even had an infidelity or something like that um and that tower the root the, the the destruction of that will cause you to evolve in yourself and maybe attract a relationship that is going to be better for you right you future. feel like you're going to have wings that you can fly everything is going to feel new regenerated and just fresh mm -hmm. so this is really good we're gonna get ready to close out the reading mm -hmm. but the full card is saying that all of this stuff that you're worried about everything that's gonna happen with the tower it's all for a reason yeah yeah there's a lot of new beginnings going on here right you don't have um you don't have any really anything above like you don't have any nines or any eights um yeah, there's some intimacy there. Um, that person can connect with you again. That person may be thinking of you too, but you have to put the spirit into it. You have to do it. I'm um, going to really try to connect. Okay? All right, Gemini. Bye, Happy guys. birthday. Thank you. We'll see you next month.